So here we have Fueling's crankshaft run out measuring tool just to ensure that the crank is true and how it's in. Some people say only use this if you're converting from a chain drive to a gear drive, that a chain drive is more forgiving because it has more flex or play in it. You should always check your crank run out if you're doing any type of cam work and why not check it since you're already in there. It does come in a couple pieces. You have your tool plate here, then you have your thumb screws and then your dowel indicator that just slides into here. And then you have a set screw on the back which tightens down on this dial indicator so it's not moving up and down. Now fueling does recommend that you clean off the tip of the pinion shaft with some 800 grit. Obviously you always want a clean surface when you're doing this. So I'll just put the dial indicator into the plate. Then you have a 332 nd set screw on the back. I'll just tighten that down. You can use an Allen or a hex bit. You don't want this dial to move at all while it's in there or it'll give you a false reading and then just line it up on the crankcase. Now you want these thumb screws on there nice and snug. You don't want any play in the plate or it'll falsify your reading. So I'll just take this dial where it says zero and I'll line it up with a needle. And I'll just lock it into place up here so now that this is locked in, everything's set into place. Now, even though I have it set at zero now, I'm gonna rotate the motor a couple of times because I wanna find true zero. You'll probably see that needle drop and that's where I wanna set it. So as you can see, the needle dropped and it's looking like it's staying right about here. So I'll loosen this up and I'll turn my dial. I'll lock this down and then I'll rotate the tire a couple more times just to confirm my zero. So measuring the crank run out, it looks like I'm at exactly four thousandths. So fueling recommends a maximum of five thousandths crankshaft run out plus play. So all I'm going to do is take the crankshaft screw and screw it back in. So I'll lift up on the pinion shaft to measure the initial flex and play in the crank bearings. And then I'll just take this number and add it to the crankshaft run out. And it looks like I'm at one thousandths. So taking the crank run out of four thousandths plus the thousandths of play and flex in the pinion shaft, I'm looking at a total of five thousandths. So all this means is that I'm within serviceable specs. I'm good with a chain drive, just not a gear drive. <laughs>